hello guys hope you're having an amazing weekend my name is says paulo and welcome to my vlog so we are going to start by making breakfast and i'm making my smokies enjoy You can use a spaghetti spoon instead of a normal cooking stick and as you can see after you mix up our spaghetti it's already ready and it smells yummy and it looks amazing and i can't wait for you guys to see how the final meal looks like and this is a very quick meal and very delicious so you can make it when you don't have time or you've run out of ideas so our spaghetti is ready it's now time for us to serve and i just love this spaghetti spoon that i got from dream 
cream lux decor it just makes it fun to cook and serve spaghetti more so put as much spaghetti as you need on your plate because the thing with spaghetti you're going to get hungry very soon after eating like after three hours you will be super hungry so i usually eat a lot of spaghetti and there it is and then on top of this spaghetti i have added cheese i've sliced pieces of cheese just to take my spaghetti to another level so you can add any type of cheese or you can just have it plain but for me i wanted it to be slimy when i'm picking it up Mwah. so when you do this you can either put it in the microwave so that it melts or you can just eat it plain like me i don't mind eating plain cheese like just dry and not melted Mwah. I never used to like spaghetti before but now with these new ways of making them spaghetti has become one of my favorite meals so let me know in the comment section if you enjoyed this recipe and if you're going to try it. a beautiful evening or should i say a night it's a beautiful night and i want to do a little bit of skincare as i watch tv and as i finish up this crochet i've been crocheting this cover up or should i say a blanket or a poof cover i don't know how to name it i've just decided to make my balcony match like the balcony is now green so i want to make the sitting area green so i figured why not just crochet this so i've been crocheting this and it's almost done and i decided let me just film the last part because i didn't manage to film like i just got into it i was like i'm going to film i'm going to film and then i just continued crocheting 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 till i was like damn i'm almost done that's how sometimes crochet can get into you so before i go on with that i'm going to be applying this face mask because it's been a while since i did skincare and I just want to get back to it. Ooh, it's wet. That's a good sign. I got this face mask. Whoa, slippery. <laughs> I got them from Everything Beauty. And it's right now called Dream Brows. Gosh. Yeah, it's that wet. So you can imagine how good it's going to be like okay Ooh, i can't wait to put this on my face i wish i had a mirror here but anyway i'm going to use my camera hope my camera is going to work well good oh my god i hope i'm doing it right because i can't even see but i guess it's laid out right on my face yes yes this cool feeling to it it's the aloe vera mask yeah and just see how much how wet it is let's see So relaxing <laughs> so according to the instructions we are going to massage the rest of the what do they call it they call it contents we'll call it the liquid okay so wow okay maybe i can use this on my neck
and I just don't want to risk because I feel here it's close to my eye. Let me just confirm. Yeah, my eyes are very sensitive and clearly, as you can see, if you don't want to mess up, just use a mirror pose. Yeah, I didn't know that was happening. <laughs> Imagine if I didn't check and I struggled to see. So when you're applying the mask, don't use the camera as your mirror like I tried to do. Just use a mirror. You'll get better results. Learn from my mistakes. Yeah. So now I've applied it correctly. With this call, we are not taking chances. Like, I hate getting calls because whenever I get calls, I feel like I'm dying. So, no taking chances. Total warmth protection. Then we crochet. Not far from done. And I've used one stitch to do the whole thing. I'm using the double crochet. A double crochet stitch. here this space i'm going to attach it and then this place so this part will be joined it will be one piece i don't know if i can show you using my head this is how it's going to be like that's one edge and there's another edge you get the picture okay but first, let's take off this. We're supposed to leave it on for 15 to 20 minutes. It's been 30 minutes. Damn. That feels so good. It smells amazing. Wow. You can even rub this on your feet, maybe after you're done with your face. Anyway, as the instructions say, you rub the remaining contents after you remove the mask we're gonna rub it on our face and massage our face 